Well, thanks for coming to bar today. I'm glad you were able to make it back. Uh, let's get started by setting our posture, feet under hips, lift up tall through those legs, engage the inner thighs, lift the rib cage up off the waist, engage that core, make plenty of room for the abs to engage there, pull in toward the belly button, toward the spine, roll the shoulder blades back, back of the head over the back of the spine, lift your chin until you feel like your head is just fully balanced right there. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Let's get started with the warm up. We're gonna start with a hip circle march. So we're just gonna rotate all the way through that hip socket with those legs, bringing the knees up toward the chest, but not, uh, not bowing over at the waist. Just a little warm up here. Our theme today is final countdown. So we'll be doing a lot of reps. <laughs> we'll be doing eights and then sevens and sixes all the way down. So get ready for that. All right, let's come out to our second position. Feet are super wide, much wider than hip distance. Toes at about 45 degrees. When we come down into this plie, our knees are over those toes. You should see your big toes on the inside of your knees. Trying to keep that head and shoulders upright. We're not um, pushing the booty back. We're right here in our second position. We are going to stay down here. And we're gonna do um, our countdown with hip shimmies and then heel lifts. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shimmy six, five, four, three, two, one lift, five, four, three, two, one shimmy, four, three, two, one lift, three, two, one shimmy, two, one lift, one hold here. Try to catch your balance. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down, walk to the center. Our last warm up move, we're gonna do a lunge countdown. We're just gonna do, uh, we're gonna do fours, starting with fours. So we're gonna be here in our lunge, feet are about hip distance and width apart. You can have your hands on your hips. We're gonna come down to do a pulse for four, three, two, one. You can either switch your feet or you can do a switch jump for four, Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Two, one, switch. Two, one, now switch, 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 and switch. Nice job. Let's move into our arm series now that we're a little bit warm. We're going to start with our 90 degree raise countdown. So you can pick up your little weights or water bottles or just use body weight. Set your posture, feet under hips, lifting up here. Hips stay square, shoulders stay square. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two. One, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, two, 
one, stay here, up here, one, 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 keeping those shoulders and hips square, only moving those arms for four, three, two, and one. Nice, bring those arms down. Let's come into our triceps, coming into our skier position, feet hip distance, a little soft bend of the knee, hinging forward at the hip, nice strong core, no booty out, no booty in, nice strong core with a neutral spine. Roll those shoulders back to lift those hands up. We're gonna pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse seven, up, five, four, three, two, one. Now in, five, four, three, two, one. Now up, six, five, four, three, two, one. In six, five, four, three, two, one. Up five, four, three, two, one. In five, four, three, two, one. Up four, three, two, one. In four, three, two, one. Up three, two, one. In three, two, one. Up two, one. In two, one. Now up, in, up in, trying to keep those hands above the booty if you can. Shoulders are back, shoulder blades down, chest is open, up, in, up, in for three, two, and one, and bring those hands down. Awesome job. Coming into uh, shoulder presses and Arnold presses, we're gonna do a short countdown here. So keep those elbows open. We don't want them to creep to the front of the body. Shoulders down away from the ears. Press up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those elbows together for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up, six, five, four, keeping those elbows up, three, two, and one, elbows up, four, five, four, three, two, one, up, four, three, two, one, in, three, two, one up, two, one in, one. Now up and in, up and in. Nice, up and in, up and in. Nice job, four, three, two, and one. Set those arms down coming into some bicep pulses. So we are going to do our countdown here. We're gonna start with those arms out. Elbows are glued to the body here. And we're gonna pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, rotate the arms to the front, extend those elbows in front of the body. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, out to the side again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extended front, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Side, six, five, four, three, two, one. Front, six, five, four, three, two, one. Side, five, four, three, two, one. Front, five, four, three, two, one. Side, four, three, two, one. Front, four, three, two, one. Side, three, two, one. Front, three, two, one. Side, one, two. Front, one, two. Side one, 
front one extending out to the side now we're just going to do some full range here for eight seven six five four three two and one nice job let's come to some flies so we're again in our skier position soft knees hinging from the hips core still engaged not letting that belly fall down uh, so that the spine is kind of drooping out we're going to do some flies here we're going to start with full range and then we're going to alternate that with pulses so eight squeeze those shoulder blades together nice and slow on the up and the down four three two and one stay up here we're going to pulse for seven six five four three two one full range for six five four three two and one pulse for five four three two one full range for four three two one pulse for three two one full range last one and two last pulse hold 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 for eight seven six five four three two and one you made it we finished our arm series let's bring out our chairs uh, or whatever you're using as a bar move to the wall which is actually in some ways a better bar surface because it's more stable we are going to start with some calf raises so we'll start in our first position heels together toes open if we did, were to do a plie those toes would go right the knees would go right over the toes finding that position holding onto your bar standing up super straight head super tall up to the sky lots of room in that spine rising up for eight seven now think about those thighs pushing outward five four this work is not only coming from the calf it's also coming from engaging these quads two and one parallel feet for seven six five four three two and one first position again push out with those thighs five four three two one parallel five four three two one first position four three two one parallel three two one first position two one parallel one stay up here we're gonna open to first back to parallel open to first back to parallel so feel your legs turning out from the hip three two and one hold here in this first position try to balance for eight seven six five four three two and one let's stretch out those calves reach the legs behind you let the heels try to come to the floor that was a lot of intense calf work there you can bend one knee and then the other if you need that to get a little deeper into the stretch all right we're going to come into our chair squat i'm going to use a ball but you do not need to if you have a rolled up towel or a, a pillow nearby that might be a good thing i just find my knees are too close together without something to squeeze against we're going to do our chair squats here we're going to do um, eight 
with flat feet, pushing that booty way behind. We're gonna rise up onto our toes and do seven pulses. So eight full range, flat feet, seven pulses in releve. Fingertips on your chair, push that booty way back for eight. Seven, feet are parallel. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rise up on toes, push back into this pulse for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flat feet for six, five. So trying to keep your gaze on the wall ahead of you, not dropping the gaze down to the floor, two, and one, rising up on our toes, push back to pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Flat feet for four, three, two, and one. Rise up and pulse for three, two, one. Flat feet, full range for two. And one coming up, pulse down, hold here, hold here. See if you can balance for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise it up. Great job. Coming into our Attitudes, we're gonna do our attitude uh, front to back countdown. So uh, we're gonna be in first position, one hand on the chair, other arm out for balance. An attitude we have that knee bent. So in the front, we're trying to have that heel super high. And in the back, we're trying to have that knee super high. So we want the knee higher than the heel in the back. Goal is to have the heel parallel with the knee in the front. That's just a goal. Starting here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, four, eight, seven, six, head and shoulders staying up tall, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Switching that chair over to the other side. We're gonna come into our front attitude on the other foot. So we're starting in our first position, sweep this leg up, Nice little bend of the knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Keep it up. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one, two, one, two, one, and one, 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 one big full range of motion for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Shake out those legs. We're going to step away from the chair a little bit and do some lateral lunges, some side lunges. Let me put this further out of the way. So we're going to start with our feet parallel in the front. You can have hands on hips or hands out in second position for balance. I think I'll go hips to start. Step out to the right, bend this moving leg for eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Step out to the other side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and six, five, four, three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, two, one. Now side to side, lunge, lunge, pushing that booty back behind you, lunge, lunge for four, three, two, and one. Nice job, beautiful job. Okay, this next one is a little intense. So the choice is yours. Uh, we can, um, so you can jump or you can not jump. Uh, if you don't jump, you're just gonna do a quick releve. So in first position, just pop up, pop up. Second position, same thing. Always starting and ending in a plie, whether you are jumping or doing your releve. So we're gonna do some saute here in first position and then in second position. So plie to start eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Second position, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. First position, six, five, four, three, two, one. Second position, five, four, three, two, one. First position, four, three, two, one second position, three, two, one. First, two, one second, and one. Hold here in your second position, plie. Hold here, head and shoulders straight up to the sky. Engage that core. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise it up. Beautiful job. Nice little cardio interval heart rate going there. Let's come back to our bar for some first position plie fondue. We're gonna face the bar. So our plie of course is just a bend of the knee. Our plie fondue is kind of a one-legged plie and we're just lifting that other foot off the ground. So we're, we're staying in our demi plie, this heel, is staying on the floor. So we're gonna lift that uh, leg and come into our demi plie for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, demi eight, seven, six. Toe of the other leg is lifted up the floor. Three, two, and one. Other side for seven. So we're really working to keep that head and shoulders up straight, not uh, bowing forward at the waist for three, two, and one. Other side for seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one and six, five, four, three, two, and one, and six, five, four, three, two, and one, and five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, two, one, let's switch, one, 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 four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Let's finish up our bar series with some curtsy lunge. So you can put your chair to the side and we're gonna be done with it for the workout. So put it out of the way. And we're going to do our curtsy lunge. That is a step behind. You wanna see a big cross behind, but your hips stay square. So if we're opening up to this cross leg, we're kind of defeating the purpose of working these in our thighs. So arms up eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, cross other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeezing those inner thighs together. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big cross. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice tall head and shoulders. I love it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one four, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, two, one. Stay here and hold, lift that front heel up for eight, seven, six, shoulders down, four, three, two, one, other side. Lift up that front heel for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. We're done with our bar series. That was a nice, intense one. We're going to keep up that intensity for our core series. So let's lay out this mat. Yeah, I think I need to adjust camera a teeny bit. Feel free to take a drink as we transition down to the mat. All right, our first countdown for the core is gonna be side plank dips. So mentally prepare yourself. Choose your variation for your side plank. We've got lots of options here. I'm gonna do elbow and if you want, you can uh, fold your mat over to give yourself a little more cushion. You can be on both knees, dip here, bottom knee, top foot, dip here, uh, top foot in front, or legs stacked. So choose your poison. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Getting close to the end, guys. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two, one. Two, one. All right, one dip, one hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, one dip, one hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you made it. Great job. Coming down onto our backs, we're gonna do a bicycle countdown. So a little bit of a break, but keep working for sure. Uh, we're gonna be down here. You can have your fingers lightly touching your ears, or you can cross your arms on your chest. We're gonna lift head and shoulders, extend one leg, reach the elbow toward that bent knee, opposite elbow, and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If that hovered leg is not working for you, seven, six, you can set it down or you can keep both knees bent. Three, two, one. Other side for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, head and shoulders way up off the mat. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Belly button pressing down to the spine. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. You're almost there. Keep it going. Three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, two, one. Nice job. Side to side. One, 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 one. Nice traditional bicycle. This feel nice and hard after all of those little reps for four. Three, two, and one. Last side, hug the knees, rock side to side. Take a second before we roll back over to our bird dog countdown. Cross the knees, roll all the way through. Coming onto our hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're going to do a bird dog countdown. You're gonna keep pressing from below with this core throughout the movement. So we're not gonna let this belly drop and put a little kink in our spine. So lift up one arm, one leg, feel those hips parallel. Again, you don't wanna open up to that side of the lifted leg and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pay attention during the transitions that you're keeping your alignment going, keeping that engagement. Three, two, one, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Gaze at the upper edge of the mat. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice spinal alignment. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two, one, two, one. Fast change, one and one. You can keep with this, or if you'd like, you can change to a plank for our last eight, seven, six. If you're in the plank, lift up those shoulders, lift up that spine. Gaze is neutral. Three, two, one. Push back to a child's pose. Just for a little bit. And let's come back onto our back for a bridge countdown. Oops. Okay. So walk those feet toward the glutes, heels as close to the glutes as you can get them. Open up the chest, tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, palms flat on the mat, rise up with those hips, pushing them up, rolling through the tailbone and the spine. Lift that right leg up, we're going to go down, up, down, up, six, five, four, three, two, one, other leg up for eight, seven, six, keeping those hips high in the air. Three, two, one, and seven, six, five, four, keeping those core engaged. Two, one, your core is putting the brakes on that leg when it gets to knee level. Other side for six. Other side for six. Now five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Recommit to having those glutes in the air for three two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, and eight. Roll that spine down the mat, hug your knees again, rock back and forth. All right, our next one is our power move in the core. We're going to alternate mountain climbers and plank jacks. These can be low impact or high impact. Low impact, we step in that foot and we step out into our jacks. High impact, you know what to do. So let's get started. We're gonna do the short countdown. We're just gonna do eight, seven, six. So let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, jack eight. I mean, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mount climber, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jack, five, four, three, two, one. Mountain climber, four, three, two, one. Jack, three, two, one. Mountain climber, two, one. Jack, one. Stay out here, feet wide, feet wide. Can you lift up one arm for eight, seven, six, hips still parallel to the mat, 
four, three, two, one. Other side, reset those shoulders and hips. Commit to being square. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit back, roll your wrists, take a little pressure out of there. Let's finish our core with a more familiar countdown or count up, I guess, of our Pilates 100s before we move into our stretch. So laying on your back, tuck your shoulder blades under you to open your chest. You can have your knees at 90 degrees or legs fully extended. You can have toes together or you can open into a first position. Roll that head and shoulders up off the mat, pressing the belly button down to the spine to get as much lift as you can. And we're gonna beat the air. 10, try to follow your breathing in for five, out for five. 20. 30. 40. 50, head and shoulders up, up. 60. 70. 80, almost there. 90, last 10. and 100. Happy baby. You can grab onto your thighs, calves, ankles, or the inside of your feet. Trying to get those knees down into your armpits to get a nice hip stretch here. You can rock side to side if that feels good. Nice. Really good stretch. Try to Relax those muscles. I know we've spent the last 40 minutes working them. Now we're gonna try to relax them. Nice. Okay, let's come up to kneeling. I'm going to roll my mat to give my knees a little extra padding. Hands on hips, step forward with that right foot way forward, not just under the knee. Hands on hips, use them to press your hips forward, keeping those hips square and parallel to the wall in front of you. Arms can clasp behind you for a nice chest stretch, shoulders down, away from the ears. Neutral position of the head, not dropped for sure. Not lifted unless that's comfortable for you. Feel the stretch on this hip flexor of that leg that's behind you. And let's press back. Put that, lift those toes up off the uh, floor of that front leg, reach for them. Let's stretch the back of the leg. We did a lot of that calf work. And of course we always do lots of work in our hamstrings. So reaching forward, try not to drop your head. Again, it's your head is reaching, reaching, reaching. Open that leg to the side. Uh, this, your, your knee and your hip are in a straight line. Ooh, I'm super crampy here. If you can reach over to the side, toward that leg, up and over, body stays parallel. Get a nice stretch here on your side. And up, let's switch to the other side. 
starting by planting that foot way forward, hands on hips, push those hips forward, using your hands to keep them parallel so they're not opening to the back. This time you can cross one arm in front of you. And let's open up and cross to the other side. Pushing back, lift those toes up off the floor, a nice straight leg, reaching for the toes, the calves, the ankles, the foot. You can have one hand on the floor, both hands on the floor for balance. Whatever it takes to get your stretch. Again, paying attention to the position of your hips, not letting the hips open up toward that back leg and stealing the stretch from the front leg. And opening that extended leg to the side, up and over with the hand, keeping the shoulders parallel to the wall in front of you. Big stretch on the side body, nice stretch on the inner thigh as well. And unwrap yourself, come up to standing in our super wide second position. You should feel so good right now. Inhale, arms up, exhale, come into that plie. Inhale up, nice, push those knees out over the toes. And exhale one last time. And Beautiful exhale, nice job. Gentlemen, take your bow. Ladies, take your curtsy. Thank you so much for joining bar class on this rainy Tuesday. Uh, definitely beats trying to go for a run in the drizzle. <laughs> Thank you so much, that was extremely hard. <laughs> <laughs>